so we just saw Matilda the musical. Oh, there was four little hearts. Oh, because I wanted to show you the frame of the balcony because balcony is still ongoing. I'll show you some footage. I couldn't understand anything, pretty much. Dangerous profession. <laughs> Feeling so like, oh my god, I literally feel like I could cry. <laughs> I really miss it. Like, I really do. And I'm just, I'm just so excited. Like, just having a mental breakdown. You're right. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. Today I thought I would film a day in the life because there's a few things going on at home uh, that I thought I could update you on or show you guys and just generally that will take you with me what we do. Um, but I'm just getting ready and I'm getting ready in Caleb's bedroom because if you go into our room today there are literally five builders outside the window because our balcony is going in today. Well it's starting today. They said it's going to probably Probably take a week um, so they're out there right now building the frame for it which is so exciting um, and then I think tomorrow they'll probably be doing like the decking and then there's like glass to go in um, so yeah all of that is happening this week and I'm so excited we've been looking forward to this for ages and um, we've had it on order I think there was a problem with like the glass or something I can't remember um, but I'm just so excited that it's actually going to be in for spring and summer we'll be able to like sit out there we're going to try and order like a little table and chairs so we can like actually step out onto it and I'm just I'm just so excited like I love the view out there someone actually messaged me once saying I don't know what you're talking about the view is just a dirt field and a dirt road but to me it's something special and you get like little deer and fox out there so it'll be actually really nice to kind of sit and look out get some sun and as the boys are getting older I'll be able to like see them playing football I don't know I'm super excited about it so that is starting today so I'll show you in a minute but I'm hiding out in here I actually got ready in here because there are just lots of people out there in like high visits and stuff work is also starting soon on our front room downstairs so they're gonna move the radiators very soon paint we're actually getting carpeting in there and we're getting new couches and things and actually you know the gray couch that we had in our old home and it's actually still in our front room now we are getting rid of that and i feel so emotional about it i know it's just a couch but because it's the couch that i gave birth to jackson on we had all our newborns like as they were little they sort of grew up with that couch i've been feeling so like oh my god i literally feel like i could cry <laughs> about that couch um so it feels very much like the end of an era oh god <laughs> hold on i'm gonna cry about a couch oh my god <sighs> ah. sorry i get super attached to certain places like our old house when we left that i was so emotional and now that couch because it's been here throughout the kids growing up now getting rid of it feels like such an end of an era like all the baby stuff toddler stuff little kids stuff like getting it feels like okay that's all done um so i feel really sad like i know some people get really excited about their kids getting older but i'm the opposite i'm like i don't want it to end <laughs> And actually, just yesterday, I was walking the dog past a leisure center where I used to take the kids when they were little to like this baby and toddler gymnastics class. And I basically did a school run and then took the dog for a walk around that field. Um, and then you see all the mums with all the little ones like walking in. And this one mum, she had like three kids. <laughs> they must have been like three kids under five. So it was like what I was like and one was like really kicking off and she was like dragging him in and she had the baby in the buggy and one on the buggy board and it was like all going on and I was like oh bless him I was like I've so been there and she was like oh no and like she looked like well fed up but I was like thinking I really miss it like I really do I know it sounds crazy but I was literally thinking I wish I was dragging my three kids into a play group even if one was screaming because you know you're gonna have a fun day with them you've got all this time with them like I know everyone says it and even when I was like a young mum if people were like oh make sure you enjoy it blah, 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 and it was like really annoying because you're like I'm literally just trying to survive and get through the day but now I'm through it I'm like oh I totally get it like it does go really fast and I really miss it even when I was little my mum used to say when people asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up I would say I want to be a mum and I always used to idolize mums like used to 
be amazed at how my grandma was, like how she could like cook a meal, or if I went around friends' houses and their mum had just made like muffins, I'd like, I don't know, it sounds really stupid, but I used to just really look forward to being a mum and uh, obviously dreams come true and I am. Um, but now they're getting older and they need me a little bit less. Obviously Jackson's still six. He's still, you know, he still needs me and they will, you know, till they're much older. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's something I, I looked so forward to. If Matt would have been on board, I probably would be one of those mums on Instagram that have like eight kids or nine kids or something because I just really loved like the pregnancy the baby stage like I did really enjoy all of it of course it's hard and it's easy for me to say that now that they're older <laughs> um but yeah just really really loved it and like um I would say I did soak it up but I did make the most of it and you know I've actually vlogged it all so I can always watch it back if I wanted to. I think I've just got a lot of love to give. I've always been quite maternal and obviously I've got a dog now so I definitely baby her <laughs> and there's things to look forward to in the future like hopefully one day I'll be a grandma um, and maybe one day when the boys are all grown up and out of the house and I'm done YouTube if that day comes one day that maybe you know fostering would be something that I've always thought about I mean I haven't told Matt this idea but maybe that one day um we'll see but anyway it's all getting a bit deep for like an intro of a video but I'm just having a mental breakdown so I thought I would do a vlog today <laughs> no just kidding um but yeah I'll show you the balcony I think I'm going to take the dog for a walk and tidy a few things up I might have to do a food shop they've got a dentist appointment like it's just a general day um but i'll show you what we get up to okay so we're now on a dog walk with kiki matt's here as well we're walking to a cafe to have lunch we don't often get to do stuff like this together hardly ever go on dates and stuff so it's quite exciting it's really cold isn't it today it's middle like, of march yeah we we're expecting spring but it's actually quite cold kiki just made a friend and we're just on a walk he was rain. like a real mixture she says Saluki or something, uh -huh. but um, yeah, really nice dog, nice big dog. Yeah, Matt is uh, angry. <laughs> he oh, was <not>. like, <laughs> he's like, should we go now? <laughs> what else has been going on? Did you said about the balcony. Oh yeah, big we've, news. Yeah, we've left the balcony guys to it, haven't we? Yep. And they've like, oh, I forgot to film it, but I'll show you guys when we get home. Perfect weather. They've done this whole like scaffolding thing out the back, which is actually quite good because it means they're not in the house, they're just building it outside. I so. imagine them all hanging around in our bedroom. <laughs> which would have been a bit weird. Four men <laughs> building. I could have done my builder's talk though. You're right. <laughs> Hope you like the slow mo there. Vlogging is a dangerous, the dangerous profession. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just kidding, obviously. Um, what was we saying? Oh yeah, I've done, my, I've done my builder's talk. <laughs> Geezer. What, Sam? Yeah, you know when you're, you're like, husband's normal. I actually find it, then... I think it's a skill. <laughs> what, that, that Not all men have that skill. You do, you. Most do. Yeah. Adjusting, <laughs> Dad, I saw the adjusting funny... to one's dialect. <laughs> We saw the funniest meme and it was like men speaking to builders and then they're literally just like Norman and they're like, all right. <laughs> Didn't you okay. say when you moved from the UK as well? Look at me vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> Looking like an absolute wally. Um, mm -hmm. That like you, you adjusted the way you spoke quite quickly, even though you still got a Canadian twang. Oh, you yeah. was like when we moved to Essex you thought you was coming to marry was Prince 14, William didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I literally thought we were moving to like London and everyone was going to speak like the Queen. I'm not even kidding, that's what I thought. Moved here and I went to school. I couldn't understand anything pretty much. What, like what really stage did you realise you'd actually like, come to Well, I Essex. said it was a suburb of London. Yeah, but your mum probably didn't know either, did <laughs> well, she? It is really? a suburb. It is really, a suburb, yeah. isn't it? But I don't know. I just it's actually I, really nice. I, anyway, it is really nice. I just found it very difficult to understand everyone. And actually, I was saying to Fraser the other day, one thing that I found difficult is like in England, people to say hello they say like are you all right but that's just hello all right but if you say are you all right in canada it's like something's wrong <laughs> do it or like are you all right like is something wrong but here it's just like hi so at school everyone's like are you all right are you all right and i was thinking what's wrong what's wrong with me like <laughs> i remember finding that quite difficult and then like other things like i remember the first time i heard someone say the dog's bollocks 
Sorry. Which, which means, means something that's really good, right? Yeah. The dogs like, sorry, for the what? edit. <laughs> the dogs' bees. Yeah, I was like, really, just all like things like that. I just was, couldn't get my head around it. But, yeah. It was going to be a shock, wasn't it? Oh, it was a massive shock. Like, at least they spoke English. Yeah. I did get there in the end. Yeah, but you, don't, you didn't speak uh. English. <laughs> you spoke Canadian. <laughs> Out in the boot. <laughs> so that's the worst Canadian ever. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to hate you now. We don't sound like that. <laughs> Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need Okay so I'm back from lunch now and the balcony is still ongoing I'll show you some footage here uh, But now I really have to get on and finish a few Bits. I'm actually working on a campaign on Instagram and TikTok, which I've filmed, but I actually need to edit it because the editing is what actually takes so long. So I need to just like cut it all up and then do a voiceover. And I kind of need to get that done before um, we do the school run. Fraser's also got a dentist today. So I'm gonna try and quickly do that now and hopefully I get it done because it is actually due today. So I'm just putting my Crocs on because I wanted to show you the frame of the balcony because the balcony guys have just left. Um, they're gonna come back and actually put the glass up tomorrow but the frame is kind of there so you can see how big it is. So I'll just take you out there. Okay, so as you walk out, you can see this is where the balcony will be. And there's the view. So, yeah, he said don't walk on the, the wooden beams, but let me just show you. Hold on. So that is kind of the area that we'll have. So, as I said, we haven't ordered any tables and chairs, but I think we'd definitely like to get, like, a little something. And then you'll be able to stand there, look out. Get the sun. Do I, 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 I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us and the reason why we stay. I was actually vlogging yesterday but that edit took so long that I didn't pick the camera up again so I thought I would restart today because it's actually Mother's Day so I thought I would vlog our day show you what we get up to as a family we're actually going into London today to see Matilda the musical in the West End and we are so excited I booked these tickets ages ago because they loved the <coughs> Matilda the musical film so much that was Kiki Matt's eating like a chili bowl thing for lunch and she really wants it. Um, so yes, we're going to see that today. We're also gonna go for dinner and stuff. So I'll take you with us and I'll show you what the boys got me for Mother's Day because it's really cute. Okay, so Jackson made me this card. It says, I love you to pieces. Emily Jean, It's <laughs> my maiden name. And then inside he said, dear mom, I hope you have the best Mother's Day ever at the Matilda musical play, I Love You Mum, from Jackson Leo Norris. Didn't you? So shy now, just read that out. And Caleb, tell me this one. I thank my lucky stars that you're my mum. It's very lovely. And even Kiki got me a card, didn't she? She's so clever. She's first clever, Kiki. Did you go to the shop? And then Caleb got me this little teddy bear. And Jackson got me this little heart and some lint balls. We've actually eaten them already. <laughs> so we've got some biscuits and some fudge. And then Fraser got Emily this. What is it there? Four piece like because necklace. So it's got like four small hearts that make her. You know. so you see? It. Fraser chose it online from the four people in Mummy's life. Oh, whoops! I've done it. The four wrong. children. It goes four little hearts. Oh, is that like Kiki? And then lucky. And then it goes to a lucky charm. You're like magnets. Yeah, Fraser saw it online a few times, I think on like TikTok or something. So it's like, yeah. Dad, have you heard about the next one? No, I haven't. 
And the boys gave me a lie-in till 9am. Fraser had football early this morning, so Matt and Fraser left at 8.30, and he thought, oh, the kids probably like wake me up straight away. Well, they didn't come and get me till 9am, which I can't believe. That's the longest um, they've ever gone without needing I think so, they're obviously just like watching a movie, whatever. Um, and then Jackson came up and he just sat next to me and he went, you haven't even woken up yet. <laughs> Like that. That was a morning um, and then yeah came down but then Fraser went all the way to football for the game to just be cancelled so then they came straight back again so just been hanging out this morning the boys have been doing some homework and stuff and now we're gonna go in a minute to London we're actually gonna drive in because it's a Sunday um, it's not actually that bad to park and stuff and it's crazy London's actually quite close to us, but it's just always like traffic and a bit of a nightmare. But on a Sunday, it's not so bad. So we're gonna drive in, park, and then go to the show. Also, Jax has been playing with his gem sets this morning. He really loves them. He's been like organizing all of them, all these rocks. Okay, so we're on our way now. We've got loads of snacks in my bag for the show. Coloring, iPad, all sorts for dinner. incredible the way they like danced sung remembered all the lines so we really really enjoyed it so we're just walking out now and I've booked a restaurant called Bill's which is quite close to the venue so I think they've got like a good kids menu and stuff so we're gonna go there for dinner now did you enjoy it Frey? yeah it was good it was good wasn't it yeah. I think we all loved like one of the last dance and like songs that they did um, the one with Bruce wasn't it um, yeah, it's just amazing. Go on, you go. Anything I thought was, it's just not right. Just not right. <laughs> and fun. Last one. I won. It's a tie. A customer. <laughs> what are you having, mummy? I don't know. Between a burger day, uh, and a chicken Caesar.
just had dinner and it was really delicious, but we didn't have desserts because we know there's a donut place near here that the kids love. It's called Donut Time. We sometimes get them to the house as well. Um, so we're gonna stop there and get a donut and then we're gonna get in the car. Hopefully, kind of hoping Jackson might fall asleep on the way home as well, but he's pretty lively at the moment, so I don't really know. Um, and then we're gonna stop and get Kiki because we left her at the dog, um, daycare's house because <laughs> we knew we were going to be quite a while so we're going to go get her and then go home and the kids have school tomorrow so we need to try and get to bed okay so we're home now and we picked up kiki on the way and now jackson has just gone to bed he didn't fall asleep like we were kind of hoping he would but he did go to bed quite quickly so that's good caleb's just getting settled now and fraser is finishing some homework that he needs to get done for tomorrow so hopefully that won't take too long um, i might help him in a sec and then once he's in bed we were hoping to start the film everything everywhere all at once you know the film that won like so many oscars i hadn't heard of it before but watching all of the oscar speeches it was so heartwarming especially ki hu kwan's speech like i just love that whole story so i really want to see the film because it won like two best supporting actors best actor and best picture so hopefully it's quite good so we might start that um but yeah matilda was amazing today that the children in it were so talented i just couldn't believe how much they remembered and how much they had to do so yeah it was really good i would recommend it if you love the film um but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed spending like two half days with us <laughs> probably one of the best mother's days i've ever had um but yeah thanks again and i'll see you in my next one